heard about the show The Rich Man's Daughter way before I even knew that I would be a part of it. Sabi niya, pero teka, you'll be playing uh, Dennis's lover. Sabi niya, Popoy, Poy, I don't know if I can do that. I don't know if I'm ready yet. Kasi minsan, may tendency yung tao na i-judge agad yung gagawin mo. Actually, I'm waiting nga na medyo parang magkaroon ako ng something na a little more challenging. I'm not gay. Pero, wow, doon sa eksena yun, I tried to enjoy Alan Ang dami mo palang madidiscover, ang dami palang mundo, ang dami palang klaseng ng pag-ibig. Ibig ba sabihin pag lesbian, butch agad? Hindi. Hindi ibig sabihin a gay man is always flamboyant. That's not true. No, it's, it's a very universal thing, love. Yeah, love, love knows no gender. Going back into our, our conversation that has been rich so far, I'd like to really talk to Tetai as a um, representative of this community, the LGBT. Is there a certain level of responsibility for you uh, to be able to like really represent them well or open doors for them in terms of being an actor? You know, ladies and gentlemen, and oh, they wait lang. Pa, how will I answer that? <laughs> I, have to, I have to answer that already. Um, yung parang Siguro kailangan na lang din mag-iba. Like, parang masyado na nasa stereotype pag yung, kanyari, gay. Like, kailangan makulay. Kailangan ma... Most of them, they still want the parang... Ang luma. Sorry, ha? Yun. So... Sa span ng pagiging actor mo, meron ka bang role ah. na gustong makuha or gampanan? May mga gusto kong gawin talaga. Kaya lang yung parang hindi pa na bibigyan lang ng chance siguro or, or or wala pa yung right timing for for me to do yung 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 gusto ko kasi like paano kung paano kung atasan ka na ano let's say producer ako tapos i-offer ko sa isang heterosexual character straight would you be open to portraying a uh, straight character alam mo Gina so <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, siguro hindi naman ako matatawa. I mean, huwag sana matatawa. Ako. Pero, yung puri-purihan lang yung big boy. Pero, Sina, magagawa ko. I mean, kaya ko yun, Sin. So, alam mo yun? Alam ko, may marami pa akong kayang ibigay. Lalo na pag yung, yung nakakasama mo, yung ang huhusay. Kaya lang, nalilimitahan lang dahil yun lang yung binibigay sa sa'yo. Uh, ang mga Pinoy, may stereotyping sila eh. Halimbawa, pag action star ka, action star ka lang. Mm. Or pagka bading ka, bading ka lang. No? Pag ilalagay mo siya sa isang very straight role, parang kailangan talaga sobrang tatrabahuin mo. Ang, ang hirap eh. Para ma-break mo yung ano, yung ay, bading yan eh. Yung ganon. Ang hirap i-break nun. I think hanggang ngayon. Pero kaya natin. It, it mm. takes a while lang talaga and siguro hard work not only for the actors but also the way siguro he will be directed it's hard pero kaya ano lang talaga hard really, work really lang talaga hard. yes actually yun nga eh. gusto ko rin like to get into that yung stereotype or mm. the, parang there's a certain type of expectation from the audience on like how you portray a certain kind of character parang yung gender biases kasi feeling ko underlying ano din siya serious issue siya in terms of how um the craft is understood uh, outside so i really want to hear your thoughts about parang how how gender is portrayed in like tv or film in the philippines uh we still view being gay as a minority Thing. I think in in every society, may majority at may minority, tapos may tendency yung majority na talagang i-caricature yung minority. So in the past, yeah. for example, sa states, um, when you see a black person on TV or in movies, laging same role. This is super old Hollywood um, black and white films. Well, parang, They're always playing the game. That's the stereotype. Yeah. Parang, yeah. Where, where are all the roles 
where the black people are just people you know with feelings like you and me that go through their regular days and they're just not trying to make everyone laugh and i think that's where we are now with gender oh. in the philippines masyadong maraming roles na comic relief yung best friend na gay instead of really exploring all the other sides to what that person goes through ako i felt when i was doing the rich man's daughter This is my opportunity to make it as real as possible because this is a part of our society that don't get the chance to have their story really told. The real life Jade, the real life Bachi, the real life Althea to really show everyone that they are real people that have a wide array of feelings. So parang Diba? Parang ganun. May, may responsibility tayo na ganun. I think medyo valid naman din na parang I'm straight and why are they choosing me to to play a character that's gay? Sa tingin ko, okay lang na may magsabi ng ganun. Kasi kulang talaga. I mean, I really think kulang yung representation. I mean, In show business, people don't even feel free to say if they are actually lesbian or not. Or kung umamin man sila, ilalagay sila sa box na, ah, okay, so lahat ng yeah. role mo, puro lesbian ka lang forever. Oh. I remember one specific moment nung nagtitaping kami, nasa tent kami, at mag air pa lang yung first episode. Basa yung kamay namin pareho, kinakabahan kami, at tumingin sa akin si Den, sinabi niya sa akin, men, panonoorin kaya to? Because we knew there would be a niche audience. We knew the the LGBTQIA plus community would watch it. Pero we didn't know kung kung tatanggapin siya ng madla, ng masa. At that time, we were ignorant to the fact. Tapos nagulat na lang kami na, kawari, mga mall show, may mga lumalapit sa amin, lola, nanay, burus kong tatay, na watch the show. And in a way, it bridged. So from the actor side and the audience side, it bridged a narrative parang binukas na na hindi available before. It opened up... Uh, parang uh, a kaleidoscope almost of seeing your your own values your own beliefs your own experiences as a human being reflected pero in another context kasi when i went into the project i looked at it as entertainment lang talaga and then when you hear these stories afterwards it becomes more prevalent na there's a, almost a social economic like effect there's a social ano parang effect that 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 happens because of of the medium of art. Ako, yung experiences namin, ni Ria, ni Gliza, in The Rich Man's Daughter, um, hindi ko inexpect na may mga lalapit sa amin hmm. at mag, mag-open up. And I knew right then and there na parang, okay, this is, this is a good platform not only for us as actors, but at least for yung social responsibility part na mabigyan natin sila ng bosses is very important. Kung mabibigyan kayo ng pagkakataon na sumulat, gumawa, mag-produce ng kahit anong bagay na sa palagay nyo ay eh, makakatulong sa pag-open ng perspective ng, ng tao no pagdating sa gender. Meron ba kayong naiisip na gusto gawin? Uh, coming from, let's say, playing Althea in The Rich Man's Daughter, gusto ko siyang i-expand. Gusto kong malaman kung paano niya tinuli yung buhay niya, um, kasama ng anak niya, kung paano niya pinalaki yung anak niya, kung talaga bang nagkatuluyan sila ni Jade. I think yung community o yung, yung followers ng Rich Man's Daughter, aware ako na meron silang mga versions nila after ano uh, after the show uh, siguro gusto ko yun i-explore syempre hindi lang mag-focus dun sa sa kilig pero yung everyday struggles i think everyday um imagine na lang natin si Althea during quarantine ah <laughs> uh, di ba pinag-usapan namin oh di ba paano siya ngayon kumukuha ng support um nandiyan pa ba si Bachi Uh, hiwalay na ba talaga sila ni Jade? Nandyan pa ba si, si, si Lila? So, mga ganong klaseng bagay. Gusto ko lang din i-add na uh, kasi nung nag-start ako sa showbiz, parang, parang si Tom, entertainment yung tingin ko, or si Derek Ricky. 
uh, gusto ko ng maraming projects, gusto ko maraming uh, ng maraming trabaho, 'di ba? Pero habang nagtatagal at habang ginagampanan mo tong mga mga characters na to, na-realize mo na ah, oo, oo, may responsibilidad ako. Meron ka curious ako eh kung meron ka na bang mga naisulat or meron ka bang mga proyekto na nasa sulat, so, susulat lang sa pader. <laughs> <laughs> Siguro pwede na yun pag susulat namin ng mga kung anik, kung anik-anik na script dyan. So that answers your question. <laughs> <laughs> Wala, Wala pa naman. Pero direct Ricky, ano, curious din ako to ask no. you. Ikaw, matagal ka na talagang nabibigyan ng mga ganitong klaseng uh, role. Meron na bang um, malaking diferensya yung material na na-receive mo before kumpara sa year 2020? Parang How has the representation changed throughout the year? Sorry, tying up to your question, I wonder din kung ano yung difference noon when it comes to mainstream and uh, i- ibang ibang ano ibang sources ng entertainment. Well, uh, malaki na rin ang pinagbago, no? Uh, from time to time kasi may lumalabas na mga brilliant masters. Uh, tapos nung dumating ang Cinemalaya, nagkaroon tayo ng mga bagong direktor, bagong pag-iisip, bukas, mas bukas, mas malalim, bata. Ang problema lang, ang reach nito, hindi pa rin yung masa. Yung reach hmm. ng GMA, reach ng ABS-CBN, iba pa rin. Naka, ano, meron lang talaga tayong certain audience na nakaipit tayo dyan. Minsan lumalawak, minsan hindi. Katulad yung isang very successful film, yung ano, ah, uh, ah, uh, ang pagdadalaga ni Maximo Oliveros. Wala pa kasi yun noon. Pero mm-hmm. ang ilalim ng layo ng inabot noon. Tapos ngayon, hindi, may mga pinapakita na rin yung mga quick change. Yung mga uh, transgender. Yung mga nagpa-opera na. Yung ano. So, mm-hmm. ano, naiintindihan na natin yan slowly. But then, again, hindi pa rin sila pinalalabas sa major television networks yeah, prime man. time para mapanood ng marami. Minsan, may mga nakakapanood, may lumulusot. Tapos, na, nakakatuwa yung reaction nila. Wow, ganun pala. Ang ganda, etc., etc. So, tal- siguro, we just need uh, siguro a certain exposure para ma-reach natin itong mga audience na to. Pero marami, marami na ang nagawa ng maganda na sana mapanood nila, sana may experience nila. Share lang din ako ng konti. Kasi for me, my husband's lover really opened up things for me as a, not just as an actor but as an audience na parang nadaya ko yung sarili ko again di ba sabi ko nung nag audition ako pinakita sa akin ni Popo yung Brokeback Mountain it was a film I had never seen at iniwasan ko siya on purpose because sa sarili kong biases like ganyan sabi ko I was never homophobic pero dahil sa pagpapalaki sa akin, seeing two guys kiss was, uh, So I was already interjecting my own viewpoints on it na hindi ko hinayaan to hindi ko hinayaan yung sarili ko na ma-experience yung ganung kagandang material. Na nung napanood ko, I felt cheated by myself. Na sabi ko, grabe, dinaya ko yung sarili ko 2005 to lumabas 2013 na. Iniwasan ko yung ganitong klasing material dahil lang sa inunahan ko yung yung material ng na, kung ano yung nasa nasa utak ko. So siguro hopefully gaya ng sinabi mo mas ay hayaan ng audience yung sarili nila na mas mag-explore ng iba't ibang klasing material na mag, magsisilbing bintana din sa mga experiences na parallel sa kanila na kahanay sa mga nararanasan nila pero hindi nila inakala na marami rin pala silang kapareho. Yeah, I think dahil din sa platform ng, ng media ngayon, uh, marami ng outlets kung saan natin pwedeng maipalabas, diba? lalo na nga ngayon, uh, quarantine pero nandyan ng mga streaming, mga Netflix diba? nandyan ng iFlix mm. nandyan ng HBO so ang daming nating pwedeng mapanood so I think it's up to us to research and to educate ourselves more and I think kahit na hindi tayo nagtatrabaho ngayon meron pa rin tayong responsibilidad na i-educate yung sarili natin pagdating sa mga kung ano yung nangyayari sa, sa buhay, sa, sa reality. Kasi 
um, bilang aktor mm-hmm. sinasalam natin mm-hmm. yun eh. Sinasalamin natin yung yung nangyayari sa society, 'di ba? Sa, mm-hmm. sa community. At um, gusto ko lang i-congratulate lahat ng bumubuo ng team na to uh, for coming up with with this ano um, project itong uh, how do you feel maraming salamat dahil nabigyan kami ng pagkakataon bilang maging kami ma-humanize ang uh, ang mga karakter na pinoportray namin at para din maintindihan ng mga manonood kung ano ba yung proseso namin bilang aktor kasi minsan nakakalungkot din isipin na um, sinasabi ng iba na artista ka lang o uh, trabaho mo mag-entertain trabaho natin na mag trabaho namin na mag-educate. Um, ito yung naatasan sa amin para i-bring yung message sa tao. So, yes, we entertain, we also educate. I mean, we can't speak for everyone kasi, di ba, there, it's, it's true that sometimes we join for the wrong reasons or we want to be a part of the industry for the wrong reasons. But what makes us stay is when we have the realization of the power of media. If we take our job seriously, the kind of effect that we can have on humanity because of sobrang public ng trabaho natin eh, di ba? It's either nadodocument natin kung ano yung nangyayari sa mundo or kaya nating baguhin yung nangyayari sa mundo. Kaya it's important din na when you're on set or pag may nakita kang line na sa tingin mo nakaka-offend lang hindi naman siya yung parang we can use this moment to propel humanity forward to teach them that uh, that that uh, line is not that okay is that line is not okay meron din lang ho na kanina pinag-uusapan din natin yung yung responsibility natin as an actor na maging truthful tayo sa ginagawa natin but then again meron pa tayong isang responsibility as actors Uh, lalo na ngayon na usong-uso ang social media I think as actors as celebrities may following tayo and we have a responsibility sa kanila before pressing about the button before sharing something before uh, explaining bago ka pumasok sa isang bagay be it personal political uh, current events Uh, gusto mong makihalubilo, gusto mong sumuporta. Mag-isip muna tayong mabuti. I feel like we really have a huge platform in terms of um, really like spreading the right message no, to a lot of the people who follow us. And um, I'm super grateful to everybody who's um, here. Because my daughter just entered the room. Oh. <laughs> Hi. 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 Hello. Gusto ko lang din sabihin kasi yun yung yun yung una kong pumasok din sa sa utak ko um nung sinabi si Sir si Derek Ricky. Sobra siyang generous. Um syempre yung mga experience niya before para sa atin ano yun eh, ginto yun eh. Uh, yeah. di ba? Yun yung mga hindi natin na witness pero maraming salamat direct dahil as uh, mo yun sa amin uh, bilang basihan uh, bilang uh, encouragement ako I've been lucky enough to work with Tom more than once and such an open energy he will give you as much as he can but he'll also accept from you as much as he can tapos parang he's always looking for ways to I'm an even better person. Kasi na, Jake. Grabe, sakayon na ako kay Teta eh. Parang daig pa nito therapy. <laughs> 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 Kanina ko pa kinukutkot kamay ko eh. I have such a hard time accepting compliments. I feel so nervous. I admire Rian for her uh, masculine energy. <laughs> Kasi yung masculine energy na yun, for me, that's confidence. Beyond mm-hmm. her her beauty, beyond her intelligence, I think you will really listen to her. Uh, ang dami mong ang dami mong natututunan at um, nalalampasan niyo ng ng kung ano yung itsura niya. Mas lalong lumalalim yung yung tingin mo sa kanya kapag ka pinapakinggan mo siya. 
Um, I admire Gliza. Boss. Sobrang ano? Grabe yung puso. Grabe yung puso. I admire her because she is not scared to reach out. Tapos mag tumulong, mag encourage. Before mo paniwalaan yung sarili mo, naniwala na si Gliza sa iyo. So, yun yung isa sa mga bagay na hindi lang admiration pero sobrang grateful ako na pumasok ka sa buhay ko at kaibigan kita. I got tissue, tissue, tissue. Oh, <laughs> Nat, may, kanina ko ba ito inaavoid kasi alam ko talaga, ayan eh. Hindi ko pa nakakatrabaho si Tetay. Ngayon pa man, I'm a fan of, of your work as a comedian. At ang na-admire ko sa'yo is the strength that you show. Kahit kita namin na there's way more to you than what meets the eye. Na sobrang may lalim. Even what you go, you're going through personally or your, your experiences, it shows that it shows two things to me that you're so strong that despite what you're going through you're able to to bring everyone together and at the same time you want us to laugh despite what is going on all around us so it means you're a good person i feel that you are so reliable always so ready to help or give of um yourself to everyone in times like this, parang it's so nice to hear yung mga ganong salita. Like, it, it it makes me much stronger. I'm trying to brush it off yung alas yung sistema ko na kailangan mong, you, you need to work, pero pag mag-work, I need to deliver, dapat masaya ka. Pero like, yung, what's really painful is like, something like inside is like, right there, tearing you apart. Yung parang, yeah. Ay, Diyos ko, Lord. Alam mo yun, yung... Paralyzing. Yun, yun lang minsan yung struggle din kapag, kunyari, kumidyante ka or ganyan. Dapat yung masaya ka eh. Hindi, eh, ang sakit sobra. Alam mo yun. You and your, your life is not defined by that negative experience that you had. And you're not alone. Please, kahit ako, I know we haven't worked together. Pero if, feel free to reach out to me. You can have a reliable person who will who will empathize with you. Showbiz is a really uh, tricky industry because mm. we always feel like we can't share to one another because each person here, parang there are two sides to them. There's yeah. one that, uh, like, you know, Tom the heartthrob. The, you know, it's so hard to suddenly call someone up or share with them or connect with them. But at the end of the day, we're all people. And we just, we go through the same feelings and everything that you feel is valid and is relatable. And you, you should never feel um, ashamed to let people know how you're feeling. Alam mo na kung soon ko na yung pang June ko na, yung pang July ko na. Uh, <laughs> Ang <laughs> kasi naka-budget na yan eh. Yung alam ko po. Kayo na mo. Palitan mo ito mo. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for for coming on today. That's all I can say. Really grateful for all the insight that uh, you shared. Thank, thank you so you. much, guys. Thank you, uh, thank you, thank you for having us. Malakpakan natin ang mga sarili natin. Thank you, guys.